Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... I feel like you're guiding us along. But where? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I feel so... giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Far back, October eighth. So I just basically recap pretty much when what happened the entire last episode because I didn't read much of the journal at all, with the exception of recapping what the first episode did in the second episode. So um yeah, that's probably gonna end up happening in this episode too. Or happen in this episode as well. Um, so, yeah. So with the way I'm going to cut it, that entire last episode was just all about, um, was just all about the, uh, the journal, and flipping back and forth and getting lost on what Pedro was actually on. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Yeah, that's been there before. That's what I thought. But, nice to know that it confirms it. I wonder if that door's open. God, I love the ambience. Okay, don't walk through the cable. That's not how that works. Hi, squirrel. You gonna stay? Yeah, nope. Not gonna stay. Of course. Of course not. I probably have to approach that really slowly. Is it locked? Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Oh, God. <laughs> Girl stuff. What? I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves, so who does? I may be wrong here, but my first thought was Victoria. Oh god, I hope I'm not right. Nothing here. Wait, what? Oh, there's this toolbox. Nothing but tools. Anything in the drawers? Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Oh, man. God, even more like me. God damn it, Max. <laughs> uh, my grandpa, just recently, he's like 80-something now. He finally got his dream garage workshop set up, and he's just doing a whole bunch of wood carving. He's got all the tools for it. He's just having a blast. It's really good to see him in there and just... He looks like he's 20 again. He's just so happy. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? This is looking more and more like Victoria. Unless I'm totally wrong and Samuel is actually interested in this kind of stuff, which you never know. He may not want to show his exp... Oh, hi. Hi there. How's it going? Interesting how that squirrel was highlighted, though. I'm curious about that. Hey, what's up? What's up, buddy? You leading me somewhere? Why are you highlighted like that? That's really strange. There's got to be something significant about that squirrel if it's highlighted like that. And I wonder if you're able to take a picture of it, but the game's bugged or something? Because I know they, um, right before they released this episode, they released like a 300 megabyte patch. For... Oh shit, that's the principal. Principal Wells! Oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. 
Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. What? Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. <laughs> Cheers. Is he drunk? He's getting wasted, isn't he? That's... That's actually kind of sad. You know what? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Max is actually going into stealth. Oh. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. He is You're wasted. not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? That's a good question. Well, that was... Thanks. Alright. That was... I'm surprised he let us off that easy. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Can I take a photo of the fireflies or something? Rachel owes them money. What? Okay. That was unexpected. Can I take a picture of something? Or... All right, so let's check my SMS right now. Actually, first let's check photos. There's more stuff for that one? Weird. Hey! We got more people to look at. Talking to Joyce Price after five years was almost as intense as seeing Chloe again. Especially right back in ye old Two Whales Diner. That clinking of silverware and the smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back to being a kid hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smiling at Chloe, even in mischief. Doubt she smiles at our hijinks now, but they still banter like mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died that I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how often Joyce relives that day. That's the worst kind of rewind, one you can't control. But if I could go back to that moment, what would I do? I can only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Madsen. Talk about opposites. You can tell she loves him, disturbing as that sounds. Maybe she just wanted a more structured life for herself. <laughs> Obviously it didn't work out that way with Chloe. I hope they both treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. I'll never forget Frank, if only because he's the first and last person I will ever aim a gun at. How did Chloe end up in this sketchy drug dealer's orbit? The weird thing is that when I first saw him threatening Chloe in the junkyard, I was more shocked how uncreepy he looked. I expected some try-hard gangster, but he looked more like a dumpster diving troll. Which I guess he kinda is, since we were on his turf, testing out my rewind skills for Chloe's amuse amusement. Though he didn't look like a serial killer, his vibe, or energy whatever, was bad. I could literally feel the hair on my arms prickling. He wanted the money Chloe owed him, so it didn't make sense he would hurt her, but I wasn't going to take a chance. So, I actually threatened him with David's gun. Ridiculous. Fortunately, none of us ended up like Reservoir Dogs, and I saw that maybe Frank isn't as scary as I thought. 
but I don't want Cleary near Chloe near him ever again. Since he was wearing one of Rachel Amber's bracelets for what the fuck reasons, I doubt Chloe will ever be partying with him anymore. But he's at the top of our suspect list now. Is that everybody on the list? I guess that's really everybody on the list. Oh, and these are all the photos you can get. I'm guessing. Wow, I missed a lot. <laughs> I missed a lot. Wow. Alright. I didn't realize it would actually give you such big hints like this. Alright. Well, now I know what to look for. Okay, so some sort of statue thing. An aquarium. Smoking equals dead. A bird. A squirrel. Yep, I missed that one. There was a squirrel with the fireflies. Who is that? Someone in a checkerboard shirt. Another bird. No idea what that is. An ant and a feather. Is that Joyce and David? That might be Joyce and David. Hold on, just a, just a quick second. Joyce. No, her hair is up. But her hair's up. Is it longer? Alright, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and check and see if that squirrel's back. Doesn't look like it. No oh, bummer. I think I scared off that picture. Damn it. Yeah, he's not going back. Darn it. Alright, so, as I was going to do before, let's check the SMS. Oh, uh, frickin' frickity frick 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 frick. Alright, I need to send her a message or something. Why can't I... Oh, I have something for Warren? Yo, yo, Max. I just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kid on the Roof. I'll make you a superhero soon in the lab's 3D printer, cool? <laughs> okay? <laughs> and you totally earned dinner on me, along with our escape to a planet of apes. Call me. Thanks, Warren. I need to rest my cape tonight. Nathan got suspended, too, so it was a good day. I'll call you later, okay? Ugh. Warren's trying so hard. <laughs> Feminazis will be exterminated. Who the hell is this guy? That's not creepy at all. That's something from Mom. Birthday, something about. Hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. <laughs> the tears. The tears. Max, please call us as soon as you can. We are so proud of you for saving this girl. We want to know how you are, so please, please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, Mom, I'll call you back in a few minutes. Swear. Thanks for letting me gush over our black little hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud to milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. Aww, oh, the feels. More private numbers? What? What the... This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail by someone will be met with many lawyers. You are first into the blackmail to try to help you last. Consider this a final polite warning. Well, maybe if you actually got on your son's ass and looked at what he was doing, you stupid shit. I wouldn't actually say that to his face, though. <laughs> oh, how am I going to get around him? Hold on a sec. Just a cotton-picking minute here. Nope, nope, okay, no pictures of him. Darn it. I thought that would be the answer, just take a picture of him, blind him for a minute, and then do that. Do I sit on the bench, or...? I feel so... giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. I know we heard this before, but I'm gonna sit through the entire thing again. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Hey, the squirrel's back. I think. 
No, it's not. It's still there. All right. All right. So how do we get past? Oh wait. No, we have to re we have to rewind time. Duh. All right. Well, let's head over to him. Sort of. Get over in the corner here. Rewind. Wait a minute, I can take a picture, too. I can really quickly take a picture and then just walk by him. He stays up there for a long time. Wow, all right. Well, before we start getting a bloody nose again, let's go ahead and take a picture real quick. Unless, nope, the squirrel's not back. All right, screw it. Don't care. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, all right, Max. Time to bring out your inner solid snake. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Max the ninja strikes again. Let's get out of here. All right. <laughs> All right. Where's Chloe? Oh, Chloe, where are you? Well, at least it's bright enough that I can see, mostly. Oh, fucking Chloe. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. Then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. <laughs> we just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? <laughs> uh, chaos theory, why not? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right, except for your ability to, oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions, especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? He's suspended, not expelled. There's a difference. Ooh. Ooh, do I want to poke? Ugh. Which do I pick? I mean, Kate's the the more recent one, so there's probably more clues about her, but... But Chloe cares about Rachel. I'm gonna go with Rachel. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her... It feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alright, Chloe. What does she mean by kicking it? Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? 
And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. So you guys are walking in the middle of all the lights. That's not exactly stealth. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, huh. and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Oh, you little suck up. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Fuck you! Fuck everything you're doing. <laughs> Alright, I no longer have any feelings for that girl. She can go screw herself for all I care. It's so stupid. Yes, it is. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. <sighs> Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. This is getting real spooky right now. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. <sighs> I'm Chloe. serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Ugh, Max, Come on. make up your mind. One more door and our work here is done. All right, let's go. Interesting that we can't look at anything this time around. At least not on the walls. A letter? Why can we look at this one? There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. From David to Michelle. Dear Miss Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves as to the 15.4% drop in campus crime. Don't know about that. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. Eh, war of that. I hope that you will redact this petition and can reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and private security. Sincerely, Madsen David. Hmm. Wow. 
Well, at least he wrote a letter, I guess. Didn't have to call her petition cowardly, though. That's a bit over the top. Trendy hat, what? I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. I bet he's cute. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. That would not have been my first thought, but all right. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Uh, Max, you're so bad. You so bad. Interesting how that's a book in here, though. Huh. Interesting indeed. I'm really curious to figure out what's behind the door in the closet, though. Next to the girls' dorms. Um. Having some issues? Let's talk to her. That's it. Ah. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I skills? know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. <laughs> We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. One of the things about lockpicking with those things, keys still tend to generally work. Use an actual lockpicking set, though, and you screw it up enough, it doesn't really work out so well. I feel like we're timed on this a little Dead bit. End. Oh, we're probably not going to find in these. Boring. These are all file drawers, yeah. Crap. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Let's go ahead and rewind a little bit. Yoink. Yoink. And... Yoink. Alright. That'll save us some time. Um, is there anything we missed in here somewhere? Yeah, we didn't look in the desk. We'll take a look here. <sighs> no keys here. You looked on the desk. You didn't look inside the drawers. Of course, if he has it locked, it doesn't really help much, does it? Alright. Oh. I didn't even see this. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? What? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. <laughs> Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. Uh-huh. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Sugar or soda I'm gonna go put it together. Tape. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. <laughs> the race is on. See you soon. Alright. <laughs> now pay attention, 007. You need to find four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chloride. Here's how you'll do it. Oh god. Okay, any questions? Sodium chloride WTF. It's just a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. Not. So you're really going to do this? Keyword is try, I bow to your wisdom. Warren knows we're up to some shit. <laughs> it's gonna take some explaining Warren when we get back. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. 